Hello people, in this video let us look at sickness absenteeism. So this is something that is coming under occupational health. So basically the people are away from their job because they are sick. That is what a sickness absenteeism means. Um, they call it as sick leave. Some companies do give a few days of the year as a sick leave with pay. Okay, so they will give the leave. Not all companies, but some companies do. So basically, sickness absence is important health problem. So uh, it will uh, impede the production, right? Then what else are they seeing here? So at this absenteeism, you can use it to know the physical, mental and social well-being of a worker. Okay. So absenteeism is what? It's a useful index. To know the physical, mental and social well-being of a individual, of a worker. Okay. Okay. Incidence. So basically, just remember that the rate of absenteeism is around 8 to 10 days per head per year. Okay. So the rate of absenteeism is it's 8 to 10 days. This is what you have to remember here. 8 to 10 days per head per year. So, who did this? National Productivity Council. These people did some research. Okay. And they found that rate of absenteeism was reported as 8 to 10 days per head per year. Important terminology you will have to write. 8 to 10 days. So, remember this. 8 to 10 days per head per year. So, basically somebody is calling you and telling you they are sick. What are the causes? Actually, medical causes is just here. Everything else will be non-medical, okay, usually on other than if people are really uh, ill, that is different. But if people are not at all ill, they will take these, uh, they will call in sick. For economic causes, they will call in sick because they have something else to do. They don't want to lose their pay. So they will say they are sick, right? So economic causes. Then social causes, they have to attend some function, something they have to do. They have to go to their village for some uh, uh pro, uh, some harvest, etc. Social causes. They will call in sick, though they are not sick. Medical causes uh, will be like respiratory, alimentary illness, right? Are important causes. Remember respiratory and alimentary illness, okay? About 10% of the days lost were found to be due to occupational accidents. Only 10% they found to be occupational accidents. That is a um, injury at workplace kind of a thing, right? Okay, then they have non-occupational causes. Non-occupational causes like nutritional disorders, they have alcoholism, drug addiction, they themselves have some problem already. Alcoholism and drug addiction they have because of which they fall ill or nutritional disorders, they are not eating well, so they are having some health issues. So, but these are still medical kind of a thing, but not occupational. What do you say? Non-occupational causes. You have occupational accidents. And non-occupational, you can say. Okay. So, what did you see in causes? You have medical, which could be occupational or non-occupational. And then you can have economic or social. Moving on. How do you prevent the sickness leave? So, if, you, if there is less sickness leave, definitely you will have better utilization of resources, maximizing the production. Right. So, how do you prevent it? So, you should have good factory management and practices. You should manage your factory well. You should have active adequate pre-placement examination before he comes in itself you do thorough health examination you know, before giving them job they should have pre-placement at medical exam etc you should have good relationships with these people so that you don't make them lie right and then you apply ergonomics ergonomics means what fit the person to the job and job to the person fit the job to the man and man to the job, something like right, ergonomics. So all this you have to write in the exam. If they are sickness absenteeism, what will you write in sickness absenteeism? First of all, it comes into occupational health. If sickness absenteeism, absenteeism is an index to know the physical, mental and social well-being of your worker. If he is going to be sickness absent, then it will impede your production. Cost repercussions will be there for you. Then, uh, what is the rate of absenteeism? 8 to 10 days per head per year by this National Productivity Council. 8 to 10 days per head per year. Don't forget that. Then what are the causes? Medical causes, uh, respiratory and alimentary, remember. Okay. And other cause, uh, then you have occupational workplace injury. 
otherwise non occupational you have drug alcohol nutritional disorders etc non uh, medical will be like economic causes or social causes okay so if it is really sickness absenteeism because of the person being sick actually being sick how will you prevent it good factory management practices make sure that the person has good work uh, environment right occupational health health safety and all that you have seen right this much 500 uh, cc of uh, space per person so many things we have seen in factories act remember we have seen good lighting good ventilation good lighting ventilation rest for the person what else canteen facilities uh, then what else so many things were there right then some 500 cc feet of uh, space or something wait feet per capita space then you have some safety officers for 1000 every 1000 workers right then you have welfare officer for every 500 workers canteen crease you will give then there are notify able diseases then you will give occupational gear to them like goggles gloves masks etc right then pre placement examination before you take that person do some nice health checkups then uh, annual checkups you can have to see how his health is progressing good human relationships also helps a lot in reducing stress etc application of ergonomics fit the person to the job and the job to the person so that completes sickness absenteeism did you understand 8 to 10 days per head per year okay bye bye